If you've been using Drupal for any length of time, you've encountered the autocomplete widget. It's where you click, type a letter or two, and the results show up. You click on one and select it. Well, we can make it better. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. Thanks for joining us today. And in this video, I want to take the simple autocomplete widget and upgrade it a little bit by adding extra fields that get searched when you click in it. And it's called the Entity Reference View. It's really simple to set up and it can really add a layer of benefit or ease of use for your content editors where they don't just search on the title of a node or a user or anything, they can actually search for other fields that hold data, like the title of a speaker, for instance. In fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, so I'm here on an article node where I've added a speaker field. It's just an entity reference field to another content type that I've called speakers. This is a brand new Drupal site. There's hardly anything on it. And if I go to structure and content types and speakers, you'll see I have a content type called speakers. The title field label is name and the fields are bio, which is the body picture and a title field. This is just a plain text field where I enter the professional title of a speaker per se. I want to be able to add speakers to my article nodes. All right, typically in this scenario, if I go to add content and article and I click here, all I'm going to get is the ability to search on the person's name. Well, I want more. We're going to make it so you can search on the person's title as well. And to do that, as I mentioned, is an entity reference view. So down in views, I've created a view called speakers. It's a page view. We're never going to see the page. That's not important. But what I have added is an entity reference display. When you click on add display, entity reference is there by default. An entity reference display allows you to add fields, in this case, to the search. So let's go ahead and look at how I did that. When I clicked entity reference and I added the three fields I wanted to display, title, speaker title, and image, and you can see the preview here. There's my name, the title that I gave myself, and a handsome image if I do say so myself. I click on settings for the format and I say these are the search fields I want to use in the autocomplete widget, the title, and in this case, speaker title. Then under the show settings, I select all three so the image shows up in the results as well. I change the separator from a comma to a pipe. So nothing really hard or fancy there, but that's what you do. You set up your content type first, add your fields, and then set up an entity reference view. Now, the trick here is to update the actual field to use the entity reference. And again, really simple to do. Structure, content types, article, and manage fields. And if I click on the speakers field, you'll note that I'm using, instead of the default reference type, I've changed it to filter by an entity reference view. And this one was automatically populated. It's the only one on this site. Well, what does that do and how does that work now? Well, let's take a quick peek. Add content and article. And now when I click in the speakers field and I type an R for Rod, there it is, Rod Martin, trainer for OS training. And again, that handsome picture of me. But you might say, well, Rod, R is in the title and R is in your job title. So does it really work? Well, yes, it really does. Let me just search by a G, which I know isn't in my name, but is certainly in my job title, OS training. There we go. I click on it and the two fields that I've selected to search are also displayed in the autocomplete widget. How awesome is that? And there we are. My content editors now have another way of searching. And think of it, if you've got thousands and thousands of speakers, for instance, or whatever content in that content type, it can get really hard to find the exact one you want. 
Now they can search on another field that will help them narrow that down. Well, thanks for watching. This is OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. I say it all the time. We release a new video every week. Hey, like, subscribe helps us out, and we'll see you next time.